Arithmetic begins with counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll stop there. But you could keep counting forever and ever and never run out of numbers. There are infinitely many numbers. This is the symbol for infinity. These numbers are used to count things. That's why they're sometimes called counting numbers. Other people call them natural numbers because, well, they come naturally to people. But in math, we call them integers. When you learn to count, you start by counting up. But did you know that you can also count down? This is done when launching rockets or when playing a sport and time is running out. Let's practice. Five, four, three, two, one. Is that it? We can count upwards forever, but what about counting downwards? Does it stop at one or can we keep going? It turns out that we can keep going. If you have one object and you take it away, you're left with nothing. We call nothing zero. But what now? There's nothing left to take away. To see how we can keep going, let's count bricks. We'll start with a stack of three bricks. If you take one away, you have two bricks. Take another away, and you have one. Take that away, and there are zero bricks. To keep going, we grab a shovel. If we dig out a space the size of a brick, we say we have negative one bricks. If we dig out another brick-sized scoop of dirt, we have negative two bricks. Let's pretend you could keep digging forever. Next would be negative three, then negative four, and so on. This way, you could count down forever. Oh, that dash in front of the number is called a negative sign. We now have positive numbers, zero, and negative numbers. Zero is neither positive nor negative. These are the integers.